Joy Tribe, we are live. What's up? My other camera's packed away, so we got the the low quality camera right now, but it's not so bad, is it, Joy Tribe? We got some good light. I'm a little raspy, lots of singing. I wrote a song this weekend in St. Augustine with my cousin. Um, been living my best life. I'm going to go live also on Instagram because uh, we'd be having fun here. And I have not been posting much all week. Hey, JCL. I've really taken kind of a vacay. So let's go. We're going to redo that because we have Instagram. Hi, Instagram. We're live. It is Wednesday. We always go live on Wednesdays for the Joy Villa show, the live, you know, thingy, mbingy that we're doing, um, that we do every week. And I go live on YouTube as well. Welcome to the show. So every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I go live. It has been one hell of a week, you guys. What's Amalia? Amal Anomalia? Internet. Hi, guys. Robin on Facebook. Danny DeVito on YouTube. You already know what he's going to ask for. The gun show. Two tickets to the gun show, baby. Two tickets to the gun show, baby. Two tickets to the gun show, baby. That's what I'm going to bring. Oh, I got two tickets to the gun show, baby. People tune in like, what? Tickets to the gun show, baby. That's right. Two tickets to the gun show, baby. That's what I'm going to bring. <laughs> I honestly have been so proud of my muscle growth in my arms. Because I don't know if you can see, they're, they're, they've got bulk, which is the meat of the muscle, but they're also very chiseled. They're pretty chiseled. And I weigh my heaviest I've weighed in a while, and I love it. So I've turned the fat into muscle, which you can't actually do. I am a, a personal trainer as well. You don't turn. Oh, look at that. Look at these guns. Uh, guns, uh, baby. Everyone tuning in is like, what is Joy Villa on about? You guys know me. Um, too blessed to be stressed. Oh, my guns have got more tattoos lately. Not this week necessarily. Um, these are both old. These are my under on, right here. Um, this one is 15 years old. But uh, this one is about 10 years old. Isn't that crazy? Tattoos can last. When you get good cat, ta good tattoos aren't cheap. Cheap tattoos aren't good. How tall am I? Hi, Jeremy. I am 5'10 and a half. But with shoes and my hair, I'm 6'2". <laughs> So I'm pushing six feet. Wisconsin, the house. So you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that this uh, tall queen account tagged me. And I have my boyfriend, Jeremy, riding on my back. Really funny. He's short. I do like Lana Del Rey. Love her. I got the gun show. And so I've been doing yoga three days a week, teaching it and doing it, training clients, personal training as well. And um, if you guys want to follow and get a personal training program from me, go to joyvilla.com. I'd love to train you. Oh, thank you for saying I'm sexy as hell. You're so sweet. I was taller be before I became bald. Well, no, what happened? How did you get short and bald? That's not fair. Pick a struggle. Pick a struggle. <laughs> I'm in a good mood this month. I'm in a good mood all year. I'm, I'm always in a good mood. Well, sometimes I'm not, but I'm in a good mood tonight. Um, I've just had a stressful week, but it's okay. Welcome to the gun show. Oh, I love you guys. I love you guys. Brazil is in the house. So I've been doing lots of arm workouts and just, I work with, you know, clients and I'm training and I'm doing yoga and it just is a byproduct that my guns have gotten stronger. I'm really proud of the muscle growth this month. And it just, and I've been eating good protein and I just really love I think I'm just going to keep showing my shoulders. So I'm proud of it. Proud of the hard work. I hope that you've gone to the gym too. Let me show the shoulders off. Ooh, look at the guns. Um, I am a fit girl. In fact, I'll show you the body. Um, I'm in, I'm fit and I'm thick. I'm like thick fit. So I love being this way too, because, you know, I, I eat a mainly vegetarian high vegan diet I have for 20 years. Um, but I do lots of fats and lots of protein and I'm not afraid to eat. Ladies, you have to eat. This is for my girls. I know the guys are going to be like, oh, cool. But the girls, guys usually don't have a problem with eating. 
Ladies, you got to eat if you want this. If you want a thick booty and you want to look good, you've got to lift and eat. So, you know, not that I'm trying to show off the goods, but I am just showing you thick thighs save lives. And it takes food. And, um, you know, I, I don't care if I'm offending somebody. No, oh, no, show it off. I'm clothed. I'm fully clothed. Get over it. I'm not one of those Instagram girls. Oh, shoot. It's always showing the booty. You know what I mean? But sometimes I, God bless me with a great figure and I take care of it really well. So fitness is key to live a long, happy life. You would never guess my age, which I love that. Yeah, no offense. I know some people get offended. I've got a wide variety. You know, I am a conservative woman. Um, but it doesn't mean I act conservatively, you know, being a Christian doesn't mean you have to shy away and not, never look hot and sexy or say anything offensive. You know, God still loves me no matter what. Oh, I forgot to put on the pink light. Does anybody know who my shirt is, by the way? You guys know, yeah, the pink light is key. Do you guys know who's on my shirt? And I love my thighs and my hips. I didn't always love it. So I also want to Preach body positivity and embracing how your body looks because it's good to be thick. Thick is in the, in the UK means dumb, but in the U S it means curvy. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's okay to be, listen, your body's going to be your body, but I, I'm going to say some offensive things. I don't think it's okay to be fat, but what is fat? Fat is not thick. Fat is not, you know, I'm, I'm talking way overweight to where you're unhealthy. But most people also, this is also going to be offensive. It's not okay to be too thin. That's also unhealthy. So eat right for your body. Your body might tend to be a little bit bigger or smaller than the average bear. If you're looking at supermodels, you're definitely going to be bigger. I modeled for years. I had to be so skinny, skinny, skinny. I basically starved myself under the guise of juicing and cleansing. And I love juicing, cleansing, but I didn't eat enough food. And then when I got into bodybuilding, I started eating food and vegan and still gain the muscles. But, you know, you really got to eat enough protein. You really got to get, and I think a Mediterranean diet high on fish and fats is the healthiest. We're talking avocados, you know, low on carbs, but it doesn't mean you can't eat some carbs. And by carbs, I mean like empty white breads, cookies, sugars, try to cut out sugars, try not to even eat too much fruit, but fruit is good for you, but you've got to balance it with vegetables. You need to alkaline your body. With fruits and vegetables. Everyone can, and, and, and not all fruits and veggies are created equal, but find the ones you love and you really can't overdose on them. And then get a really good protein. You know, if you're going to eat meats, fine, lean meats, but also don't be afraid of fatty cuts and fats too. I go for the vegetarian high, you know, vegan diet, but that doesn't mean you have to. Eggs can be healthy for the body. Um, but plant-based is where I like to settle. You know, fish is also delicious and good for you. Um, you know, so they're not, it's not vegan, but it's just lighter meats. Like just try to eat a holistic meal, a holistic meal surrounded by veggies, surrounded by some carbs. Rice is great, you know, but we're talking like not too much pasta, you know, just be, be very moderate and balanced, but eat. I'd rather you eat too much on your workout journey than too little because you'll never release stubborn fat if you're, and, and never gain muscle if you eat, if you under eat and ladies under eat all the time and then work out for a long time. And it's crazy. So, you know, we talk about faith, freedom, finance, fitness, and family on the, on the joyful life podcast. And that's my book is coming out about the joyful life, the five pillars of joy. You guys can pre-order it at joyvilla.com. I appreciate your support. If the link is not going through, send me a cash app or Venmo under Real Joy Villa or PayPal, or just send me a DM. And, I'll, and if you send me the money, I'll send you the uh, the, the pre-order copy of the book. What, I'm not sending you the book yet, but I'll, I'll preserve your space in there. So the book is all about my journey, you know, from conservative icon, you know, artist, Trump dress wearing girl to where I'm at now. And I just got nominated for best supporting actress in the internationally, that's the world over in the International Christian Film Festival, which I will be appearing there, press release coming soon. My film, Pastor Sue Saves Christmas, I co-wrote it, co-produced it, and co-starred in it with alongside some incredible talents and incredible producer and incredible people. So all the press release will say everybody will name it, we'll do a special show about it, 
Um, and it's really good. Yeah, it's like I've gotten out of Hollywood. I no longer live in Hollywood. I no longer live abide by the rules of Hollywood, which is very dark. And some would say satanic, right? It's like there's a lot of abuse that goes on there. I've seen it with my own eyes. And I don't like that at all. I don't want to be a part of that. But I want to be a part of the creation. So how do you keep your morals and your values and still be an artist? Well, I also put that in the book because it's the five pillars of joy, faith, freedom, finance, fitness, and family. So I hope you guys will love the book. Pre-order it at joyvilla.com. And my podcast, The Joyful Life Season 2, is coming out soon. In fact, I'm going to be releasing Season 2 of The Joyful Life Podcast. You all, you all been, been waiting for it. Thank you for the congratulations, Ghetto. Um, season 2 of the podcast is coming out on my birthday. April 25th, we have the final release date, April 25th, my birthday. I release my very special podcast, The Joyful Life Season 2, which includes other people that I'm interviewing. You can watch Season 1 now on Spotify or right on YouTube, The Joyful Life with Joy Villa. Ghetto Island Musician and Merch says, yes, I feel you. I'm from Hollywood, though. That's all. Oh, Hollywood. That's why I got you. I'm from Hollywood, too. I now live in Ocala, Florida. I know what a change. Um, Dr. Berg has some incredible. I love Dr. Berg, Matt Mittens. He is my favorite. I do patch pack a mean punch, Matt. Um, uh, Danny DeVito. I do. Let's throw some comments up here from my Joy Tribe here. Where do you train? You said you can train us. So I'm training in Ocala at To Your Health Fitness here in Ocala, but I can train you online digitally. All you have to do is go to my website and pre-order. You can do a meal plan or a custom fitness plan. We can even do it digitally. Like I can do it um, like this live training. I can put me on FaceTime while you're at the gym. I can correct your form. There's all kinds of ways to do that. I'm a personal trainer. I've actually had my own personal training fitness company for 10 years, the fit and sexy vegan and the fit and sexy life. And of course, when my politics and my music took over. I sort of had that running in the background, but you guys remember my YouTube channel with the fit and sexy life and being a competitor, bikini uh, national physique committee, bikini bodybuilding competitor, winning third and fourth place for my two competitions. Um, so placing, which is really hard. And I've got my trophies. I have my storage unit delivering my stuff from Florida from California, excuse me, to Florida. Finally, uh, my stuff is here. Thank you. Shout out to my friend, Tony, for helping me with that. It's been a lot going on. This week has been crazy. Eggs and avocados are so loaded. Superfoods. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Um, in the cloud, on the BT, I'm here. Matt Mittens, it's so good to have you. Don't stand again, please. Just see you. My mic starts standing up. Oh my gosh, Jacqueline. Behave. Oh, behave. Yeah, David Bowie, ding, ding, ding. JCL, always in, my good friend and uh, my good fan. My Joy Tribe, I love you guys so much. This is David Bowie, but what is this from? You nailed it, it's David Bowie, but for what? And by the way, I need you to smash the like button if you're watching on YouTube. Smash the like button on Instagram. Smash the like button also on Facebook. Let's get the algorithm going. You know, it helps me make money. It helps me get more in the scene. So people are not, you know, I'm not shadow banned as I know I am. Um, yeah, David Bowie's on the shirt. Yeah, also go things go together and some things oppose each other. Dr. Eric Berg is good videos. Dr. Eric Berg is excellent. He's the one I listen to a lot. Faith, freedom, finance, fitness. What was the three S six? Oh, oh yeah. So now he wrote six sandwiches in silence. We're talking about relationships too, because that's part of family. So relationships, this show is about relationships. We've been going and not talking about it yet, but uh, I've just been bringing you guys up on what's been happening with my life. How long? Oh, we've been going for 14 minutes. Yeah. So I want to talk about um, relationships and setting boundaries, not Hollywood, Florida, Matt Mittens, but Ocala, Florida. Wow, Danny, you're you're in the you're in the area. Something dust for the movie? Nope. Labyrinth. That's right. Peter guessed it and John guessed it. Ziggy Stardust. Oh, you're thinking about Ziggy Stardust? Yeah, this is you're in Naples, Danny. I might have to do Naples. I got invited to perform in Naples. This is the shirt from the Labyrinth, one of my all-time favorite movies. Jennifer Connelly. She was such a young cutie, and she used to be juicy, and she lost so much weight, and 
I just don't understand why Hollywood demonizes women to be juicy, to have hips, boobs. Well, they can have boobs. That's the only curves they can have, right? But what about hips? That little pouch on the belly that's not too much, but just a little that's natural. Look at the Venus de Milo. Look at those sculptures of goddesses and, and women from the paintings, the Botticelli paintings. They had juicy bodies. She looked gorgeous, juicy, Jeremy. Having women be juicy is really it. Like I like to be a little bit fleshy. And there wasn't always a time like, like flesh is good. If you want to get married, uh, if you want to have babies, get pregnant, it's really hard to get pregnant when you're thin. And a lot of women are having miscarriages, tragically enough, their body weight is too low because they've been, they've been overworking their bodies for years being like, I remember skinny, skinny, skinny. And everyone's a skinny face, fat ass, fat tits, but like tiny little waist. It's impossible body types. Gain, gain 10 pounds and I bet you your skin will glow again. You'll look better. You'll actually have boobs. They'll probably come in. Uh, your butt will come in. And all you have to do is tone it. Toning is a misnomer. Toning is not a good word because what does that mean? But toning is actually gaining muscle. Toning is workout. So all you have to do is work out hard and heavy. Lift heavy, ladies and gentlemen. Most men know this, but ladies, you will not bulk up. You will not bulk up. It's impossible. I lift and I get bulky. Well, if you lift the wrong way and you're only gaining muscle here because you're doing shrugs like a dude and ain't nobody need to be doing shrugs as a woman. So get some good shoulder exercises in, get some shoulder press, get some, um, get, you know, pull, pulling the muscle for the back rows. Uh, look at those muscles. Come on. Get some, yes, squats, but deadlift, start deadlifting a great back and a booty exercise. Only a dog likes a bone. Jeremy's my kind of dude. Exactly. You know, and every man I've been with loves me when I'm thick and juicy and I've been thin too. I always had legs to find legs and to find butt bum. Excuse my crudeness. I'm saying some words, but always prefer something to grab hold of. Exactly. That's the thing. You cannot under be underweight and expect your body to be healthy. Just like you can't be overweight. But I, you know, you're healthier to be 10 pounds overweight than to be 10 pounds underweight. 10 pounds is nothing though. If we're talking you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 plus pounds overweight, now you're unhealthy. Now you're obese, getting to the obese range. That is not the same as thick. That is not the same thing as beautiful. Be there's no beauty at any size. You know, you can be a beautiful person, but you're putting your body through stress, unnecessary stress, and you are addicted to food. So let's get real here. So there's also the flip side of that. But I see in Hollywood and, and what's promoted is thin, thin, thin at all costs. And I hate that. And then you also see extreme, like Lizzo. Lizzo's not healthy. Her body weight is not healthy. She's obese. She's overweight. But also Jennifer, um, Jennifer Connelly, thin, she's not healthy. She's underweight. She's skeletal. She's a gorgeous woman and she's skeletal. Lizzo's actually a gorgeous woman and she's obese. So why are we looking at the extremes here? Let's go look at fit, healthy. Remember, Naomi Campbell is a perfect example of lean, thin, lean, but with body. She's got muscles and she's built that way, but she's fit. She doesn't look underfed and she's a supermodel. Naomi Campbell's great look for a, a very lean person. If you want to be very lean, but also, you know, you look at the supermodels like, um, uh, what's her name? Who's very, very thin, very lean, but not skinny. Uh, the Christy Brinkley and the 90 supermodels, but they had bodies. Not thick though. Don't get confused. That's as lean as I want to see, but I actually prefer the thickness. I prefer the, the, the Beyonce's and the Jennifer Lopez's before they got all the surgery and everything. But those kind of body types where it's like Latina, black and white Southern girls who like to eat and I'm just saying, like, let's embrace thickness. Men love something to grab hold of. Ladies, don't starve yourself thinking that a guy likes that. They, no guys like that. But also, you shouldn't like that. Are you happy being hungry all the time? I like to eat. I'll sit and eat. But I also work out. So it goes to the right places. And I love that. So anyways, that's my viewpoint. Ladies, start building a booty. You're going to be more confident. Build those legs up. You know, and it's like walk around there like you're the shit and God will bless you like you are and be confident. You know, women need that confidence and it's okay if you're you're skinnier than most or fatter than most. You start lifting in the gym and your body will start to really get in there and you got to lift heavy weights and eat a good whole world diet. And that's for men too. get rid of the belly, 
No ladies like a belly. And guys, we like a nice booty too and legs too. So don't skip leg day. There we go. Yeah, they're getting surgery to enhance their beauty um, to Skillman. I don't like that. 80s actresses, I agree. Absolutely. Um, oh, how cool. Miss Universe liked your comment. Unifier TV, how's it going? Hello, my friend. So let's talk about relationships. The three S's, sex, silence, and sandwiches. That's what men need. If you can give them that. Yeah, they do, Montega. No, they do censor me. It's crazy. It's like 50 people watching and normally have thousands of people watching. You can't go live, Montega? Montaga? I know. Thank you. It is super sad to see them do this to me. Thank you. I just keep on going. I keep rolling with the punches. Sometimes my, my things get through. Sometimes my things don't. And over it, the censorship is crazy. It's crazy. So I just, God will bless me though, because I love talking to my joy tribe. I love talking to you guys. Oh, you've never, you, well, you're only 20. He says, I'm ashamed to say I'm 20 and I've never had a girlfriend. I'm excited to, for an eventual. You will spend the time becoming the best you and the ladies will come work on your mental, emotional, and physical health. Gentlemen, get emotionally healthy. I cannot tell you how boundaries are so key in a relationship for women and men. And that's what we're going to talk about. Oh, you were smart ninja. I know they don't like it. Thank you for the love and support. Well, this got through to you. So I'm happy. Creole queen. Oh, you're driving, but listening. Mwah, mwah. I love you. Creole queen. Glad you're listening. Oh, I love listening to you. I, I love that you love listening to me, Danny. I'm not listening to you, but your text, you're, you're on my comments. So, um, yeah. I love Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, you you have the badge. You're here. You have the badge. I'm so glad you guys can also support this channel's fight censorship by purchasing a badge. It's five. I think five dollars gets you a badge here on Instagram, which I appreciate so much. I get the money it goes to me, and five dollars a month for less than a cup of coffee. You can become a member of my channel. You can also become a member of my channel on Instagram, and you can become a member here. And it really supports the channel. It helps me a lot keeps me going. And also on Facebook, you can send me stars. So we got ways to support. I know I see your photo. You see my photo? Ha ha, I don't. I see your photo. So work on yourself. And that's for ladies and gentlemen. If I'm going to eat this little chocolate mint because I'm hungry, my boyfriend's going to take me out to dinner tonight. He's going to be a good man. Take me out because I, I need some dinner. He goes hungry. This is not diet approved, but a little chocolate mint. Mm, so good. It is from Colombia Restaurant, an incredible Spanish restaurant since 1905. In um, Instagram can see it too. In St. Augustine, I went on a girl's trip. I felt so refreshed to the beach, needed it. My cousin, another girlfriend, played guitar, hung out on the beach, went out to eat, did a little shopping. God is good. So here's the deal with relationships. Let's talk about men first, and then we'll talk about women. Oh, you're in the black man country club, the barbershop. Oh, I love it. My men are going to like this. So, and women don't get offended because we're going to handle you too. Men need three things. So ladies, get this straight through your head. And gentlemen, tell me if I'm lying. Men need three things. And, and I did not come up with this, but I'm perfecting it. Sex, silence, and sandwiches. Men need those three things. What does that mean? Well, ladies, it means provide sex. If this is your committed relationship, you know, and if you're not married and you don't believe in sex before marriage, I'm not saying have sex with them, but that's physical. That means be cuddly, whatever your boundaries are for touch, Provide physical touch. You have no idea how desperate men are for physical touch. Men don't touch other men. Women touch other women. We're very affectionate and demonstrative with our affection. So a woman will maybe get six or seven hugs a day from her girlfriends, kisses, love. Men, they'll get zero. Very few men even hug or kiss. In some cultures they do with each other. And I wish like in Latino cultures more, uh, how I was raised, uh, my dad was very affectionate. 
Um, men even would kiss each other on the lips as a greeting, brief, you know, son, daughter, it would just be like it was normal. Uh, Latino culture, Spanish culture, right? Uh, my Latino, my, my upbringing, Latina upbringing, and my um, Italian upbringing, excuse me. It's also in the Italian culture. So Spanish, Italian, Latin American. But besides that, you ain't really getting it much. And if you're an American or a Western society, men are not really, they're getting, they're getting handshakes. There's very few handshakes. And COVID like got rid of handshakes. Now we don't like touch people, right? Money says, true, I had a patient hug me yesterday. It was the first hug I've received in months. She had no idea how much I needed that. My heart goes out for men who don't get touched enough. We need touch. And a lot of what the Me Too movement has done is made touch illegal for men and demonized touch for men. I don't like that. I like the good parts, exposing dangerous men, but that's not all men. So ladies, touch your man. That's the sex part. Sex starts for women in the morning with saying, hi, I love you. You're beautiful. Doing acts of service for a woman can get her in the mood as well as touch. But a man, you don't have, women don't have to make a man coffee in the morning. Men are not expecting that, but they do want a hug and a kiss. They need that. So touch your man. And, and it doesn't have to be sexual touch. It can just be rub his arms, hold his hand, hold his face. Rub his head. Oh my God, I love, love my boyfriend. I rub his head. It's very important. So that's the sex. Is the, that's sex. Men need that. You can melt a man with your touch, ladies. We're magical. We're magical, right? Femininity, that nurturing, that touch is so key. And a lot of men, <laughs> add a fourth one to your list. Sports, hilarious. Uh, sex, silence, sandwiches, and sports. Not all men need. Well, it could be though. Because we can get to that. You're right. You're right. That's actually a good one. So non-sexual affection and contact, skin hunger. I am a big one for that. That's right. Latina Creole. That's right, Creole Queen. Latina, that's true. Okay, Danny. Thank you, Jason, saying spot on. Um, your voice is deeper on Instagram Live. That's strange. Sometimes they deepen the voice I've heard on that. I don't know why. Give them game. I'm giving it. I'm giving it, baby. So this is key. Ladies, that's the sex. Because a lot of time women will come to me, my girlfriends, I'm not getting what I want from my guy. He doesn't give me this. He doesn't buy this for me. He doesn't take me any place. He doesn't take me out to dinner. He's not romantic. Um, he do, He's not, well, this is how you do it. This is how you get what you want from your man. Give them what they need and want, right? We've got to give to get. This is a relationship. This isn't a bargain. But even a bargain and a deal, everything comes with negotiation. And we want that circular love where you're giving so much and they're giving so much and it never ends. It's like the cat, you know, the, the snake eating the, the tail of the snake. And this one, you can't even tell where one snake begins, the other snake disappears. That's how a relationship is supposed to be. I'm giving so much to my man. He's giving so much to me. It's never unfair. And But remember, men need you to give different things than you need to receive, women. And we'll go in that in a minute, but we're talking about men's needs because very few women know what a man needs. And we want a lot of things from our men, but what, what do they need? Sex, key, straight up and non-sexual from the touch, from the kisses to all the way to the bedroom. You got to express your physical love for your mate. You have to. Well, he doesn't put me in the mood and he's grumpy. I get it. But this is what a man needs. Just like you have needs. And a man should be have to give you your needs too. We all have a choice. Nobody has to. But if you want a happy relationship, if you don't, then don't do this. Don't listen to me. What am I? Sex, silence, sandwiches, and sports, right? Silence. This one is very misinterpreted. Silence is not don't talk to him. Au contraire. Talk to him, but also listen to him. Silence is listening. Silence is giving him peace. Silence is letting him talk to you in his sometimes awkward ways, right? Men, you don't always communicate the best because you weren't really allowed in society. We don't really encourage men to talk about their feelings. And I am, I am not about softening men up to the point where they're women, but I am about letting men also be emotional beings and creatures and accepted and loved for who they are. Because you deserve that. There's a little boy in you, men, just as there's a little girl in women. And that little boy wants to be listened to and loved on as well. 
And you deserve that no matter how hard, big, strong, tough, military, been to prison, doing this, I'm a man, all that. Yes, have that. We love a masculine man, but masculinity is also being able to be vulnerable. You've got to be able to be vulnerable, men. You have to. So, um, because if you're not vulnerable, your woman will not be able to reach you. And that's a boundary too. I, I, I don't want to say I demand that my men are vulnerable, but they must be vulnerable with me because I'm vulnerable with them. So how do I help a man be vulnerable? He doesn't, he never talks. He never talks. He doesn't say anything. And women talk all the time and it's good. We communicate with each other. We're, we're personal social creatures. Talk to the girlfriends, talk to the mom, talk to our, our gay friends, talk to our guy friends, whatever we talk, 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 talk. Men are not like that usually. And if they do talk, they talk about cars and sports and maybe women and other things and movies, but are they talking about their emotions and their feelings? That's really a womanly type of thing that comes more natural to us. So if you want your man to talk, you need to zip it. Shut up. Stop nagging him. Stop complaining about him to him all the time. Stop taking up all the verbal space and then complaining why he never talks to you because he doesn't feel comfortable sharing. Ask him questions and then listen. Don't just wait. So that's the silence. And if he's grumpy or out of sorts, and men can get this way a lot, and women, we don't really like it when you guys are grumpy, but we know we sometimes have to put up with it um, and help you get out of that grumpiness and help you navigate when you are feeling insecure or unhappy and you don't know how to express it. So ladies, if he's in that mood, don't get offended. Don't take it personal. I know it's easier said than done, but I had to learn this through many relationships. Don't take it offense. Just leave him alone. Silence. Definitely don't nitpick on him and tell him, why aren't you talking? And why don't you care? And why aren't you listening? First 30, 40 minutes when he gets home from work, leave him alone. I come in, hey baby, kiss, that's sex, right? Affection, hug. Oh, I missed you. I love you. Um, you know, how is work? If he's in a mood to chat, we chat. If he's not, okay. Okay, baby. Well, I'm going to go take a hot bath, you know, and we'll make dinner together, whatever. I'm going to go do, I'm going to read this book. You know, you don't, you don't even, just be there. You can even be there. You could go in the room. You do what you want. Have your big juicy life. Women, we have beautiful juicy lives, but if your man is really not in the mood to chat, do not force him on it and do not launch into this whole, how bad your day was. And you want to, oh my God, I can't tell you. Pam at the office was such a bad. And she was like, tell me, nah, 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 nah. guys cannot focus and, and they can't. And then you're going to be pissed at them because they're not in the mood to chat with you and they can't process it right now. So you're expecting them to be like a woman. And we always, oh, girl, tell me, call a girlfriend. Your guy is not your girlfriend. This doesn't mean he can't be your best friend, but he's your best male friend, right? Gentlemen, am I right? Am I wrong? Uh, ladies love a good sexy conversation. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. 22 years in a marriage, 23 years together in November. And it, and it is a give and take. And in return, they needs their need. My needs are always met and women take care of yourself too. Don't gain a hundred pounds and let yourself go. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. I'm an INTJ. Uh, I'm an INFJ. You're INTJ. I love that. Metman says it helps to be an INTJ, haha, -ha, receptive, re reciprocate the favorites, fun way to be. Also, Pisces. Oh, you're already emotional. I love my Pisces, Matt. Watch the drinking, though. Yeah. Uh, Matt says, true that I've been called the thing or two, and generous is one of them. When she's with me, I have to, I have to one up and two X, they give back. Exactly. And men are givers. You know? Men are givers. So you give them these simple things that they'll give you the world. Men want to give us the world. They really do. So, um, and this isn't too much to ask and men will not always ask for it. So we, it's our job to know if you've got a lovely man in your life, you know, for marriage. So sex silence, just let him be, let him be. And, uh, you know, back in the day, women used to know that it'd be like, he doesn't want to talk. Let him be. Now, I'm not saying men shouldn't have conversation with women and, and don't don't let an hour of, of, you know, quiet time turn into the whole day. You know, you want to engage with your partner. I've been a little candy. Don't blame me. Don't judge me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, guys. 
I don't know if Instagram has bad sound, but yeah, I'm so glad men do take a beating in today's uh, society. I know. I'm trying to put the phone up so you guys can still hear me. And it's not like, um, and I can talk to you guys too, because I need to talk to both cameras. Uh, I'm in the U.S. You're welcome, money team. I love to speak up for men. It's important because it helps women and it helps men. And we get a lot of these men's podcasts where they speak up for men, but then they also bash women. And that's not cool. And it's just the same as the feminist movement, bashing men. And then you have the the, the masochistic movement. Uh, not masochistic. What is masochistic, isn't it? But it's um misogynist <laughs> movement bashing women. And it's like, we got to get along. We got to get along. At the end of the day, we have to get along. Dominique says, at the end of the day, men are human just like women with wants and needs as well. As women, we can't expect the royal treatment if we don't treat our men like kings. Hallelujah. You want to be treated like a queen? Treat your man like a king. And we're so scared, some women. We're taught by wounded feminine, wounded women, that if you treat him like a king, he's going to walk all over you. He's going to take advantage of you. Why are you even in a relationship if you think your man is just out to get you all the time? Because I'm not dating a man like that. I'm. Where are you getting these guys? And why are you so distrustful? Why are you so unable to receive and give love to your partner? It sounds like a you problem. If your man is so cold and so distant, why'd you choose him? Get out of there quick and go work on your problems. Why you keep pulling in these men? Because I'm sure you got other offers and you took that guy. So what's wrong with you? See, I don't, I don't buy into this victim mentality. All men are bad and poor little, vi poor little girls out there. No, we all have our crap. Women can be just as toxic as men. In fact, we do it on the sly. We can be real sly about it. So let's just take that off the table. So yeah, the men going their own way, Meg Tao channels, just pick on women, logic versus logic. Yeah, it's energy draining. You, women are logical, get over it. They're emotional, but you are too, men. A man thinks anger is not an emotion. And I think don't get, don't blame women, blame the fact that we can't talk to each other. Let's communicate. Let's change it up. And some women don't know how to do that because they haven't been taught right. That's true to Skillman. So sex, we've gone over silence, letting a man have his space, being his peace, right? Loving him through the moodiness because we want that for us. We want him to love us when we're on our periods and we're emotional too. Um, if you want a stoic, calm man, be calm for him. Be, be his peace. You know, the best way to do is hug him when he's had a tough day and don't blame him for being quiet and just say, baby, you okay? You had a tough day and then zip it and listen to him. Give him that space and he will open up like a flower to you. Open up like a masculine tree, excuse me. And that's what we want. We want our men to open up to us. Well, they have to trust us and it takes time. It takes, it takes good energy. It takes consistency. For a man to trust you. Men work in a world that is very distrustful. It's very, and they want to come home to a woman. They can just let their guard down. So be, be that woman that he can let his guard down with. I'm not saying don't call him on his shit. I'm not saying let everything, don't let him walk all over you, but assume he's a good man. Cause if you chose him, he must be a good man. Right. And if he's not, your picker's broken and go fix your picker, not your pecker, but your picker. Maybe you need to use your picker to get a better pecker. Some of these women date, are dating guys for the wrong reasons and wondering why they're emotionally inept. Well, why are you dating an F boy with a big old bing? And that's and then you expect him to also have emotional. No, go find the guy who's shorter than you, maybe uglier than you, maybe not even as rich as you that you looked over, who's got a heart of gold, who will do anything for you, who's there, who's consistent, who's like, oh, he's so nice. Date that guy. I guarantee you, you'll have a better relationship than the guy every other woman wants. I'm not saying you can't be hot and have money and tall and not bald or whatever fit, but let's look at you and let's be realistic, ladies. And I think if you're going to settle, settle for the nice guy who treats you well, you know, like settle on less good looks department, less money department, but have a guy who, who runs his shit well, who has his business under control, pays his taxes, whatever, you know, and, and has good solid viewpoints on family and life, the boring guy. 
over the fast rock star. Because the rock star is going to have a lot of problems, let me tell you. Believe you me, if that rock star hasn't mentally and emotionally solved their issues from childhood, which I bet you they have if they're an artist and they're hot, and women have thrown themselves at their players. Hey, I, I like a, I like a, a, a former player that's now learned his lessons, but I don't want to be the one to teach you those lessons. You see what I mean? Get a healthy man and men get healthy for your women and ladies get healthy for your men. So that's for both genders. Um, that's for all 500 genders. It's only two. There's only two genders. Here's the next one. Um, sex silence sandwiches. Feed your man. Make sure you know how to cook. And make sure you feed him and, ke and keep him fed. Just even if, even if, my my boyfriend likes to cook. He's a really good cook. And he likes to cook. And that's an act of service. He cooks for us. I But I know how to cook really well. And I will cook for him um, when he lets me and I make sure he's fed. It's, you know, if you're not the one, if you're not the main cooker in the family, the chef, at least get a few recipes, bake for him, you know, figure out, buy snacks, put them in his bag. Here, baby, this is for you when you're at work. Cause men will forget to eat, take care of them in that way. It's a little bit of mothering that will go a long way. It's very simple. Make sure they're well-fed, well-fed, well-effed and well left alone. The, you could say it like that, really. And this is not forever. It's not like you constantly have to do this all the time, leaving them alone. That gets really misinterpreted. But just 30 minutes, it'll save your relationship. Go talk talk out all your traumas, dramas, baby mamas with your friends. I can talk all day to my cousin. She understands me. I have friends I can talk all day to. I talk to my joy tribe. But my man, I talk. we talk a lot. We communicate a lot. But it's it's not the time to do that and unload all my day's trauma when he comes home from work. You see what I mean? And I and I made that mistake. And then I feel hurt because he's not listening to me. And I want and and you know, men are really smart and they feel emotional stuff. So you don't want to want to have carry on all that negativity and all that resentment with your guy when you really shouldn't be using him as your only friend. It's not, it's too much. And that's another thing, a boundary I'm going to say. I'm going to say the last one. Then I'm going to say a boundary for both because it's about boundaries. Um, yeah. Matt says, do not talk debate or grievance on empty stomach asking for problems. Both sides, low sugar levels equal argument. Thank you. Thank you. That's, that's it. Make sure he's fed before you, you know, announce that you want to go on the vacation or you, you just went to Target and spent too much money or Time it, ladies. Time it. Make sure he's well fed because men can be monsters when they don't eat. And why don't guys know this? Women know we're monsters when we don't eat. We have we turn absolute shite shows. And we know this though, because we have hormones and periods and pregnancies, and oh, it's time to eat because we're more in tune with all that stuff. And guys are just dumb about this. They will not eat all day and wonder why their life is crap. Well, guess what? Life looks like crap when you don't eat, biatch. So eat. But if you've got a man, remember, you probably have to remind him to eat. And I kind of like that. It's cute. And I think it's, I like it. I like, I like nurturing my man in that way. Eat with him. Baby, let's go eat. You know, seduce master sexually. Take your clothes off. Play with your body. Oh my God. Uh, it's not happening on this one. Um, it ain't happening here. Go, go to OnlyFans. It's not OnlyFans. <laughs> All three, Creole says, and she's been married for over 20 years. She's a beautiful woman, smart, conservative, amazing wife and mother, right? Your mother too. Creole Queen says, yes, all three, well-fed, well-effed, and left alone. Secret to a happy man. Simple. And now we got a fourth one. Oh my gosh, I'm tired of soggy sandwiches. I got to send my lady to cooking school. Poor Johnny. Johnny, Johnny yeah, maybe you do. She should be learning how to cook. Ladies learn how to cook and, and men learn how to cook. Everybody needs to cook. Wow. Money says talk after sex. The closeness will open you both up. It's awesome. I agree. Talk after sex. Time you're talking and get him to trust you. And once men open up, you guys don't shut up. I love that. My man talks, chits and chats. And I'm like, baby, I got to focus. And I, but I love that he wants to talk to me. You know, I love that. So bacon wrapped chicken just sent me a diamond ring <laughs> emoji. That is so cute. 
about to be Murray into my joy tribe. Yeah, I love it. You guys are so funny. Yeah, you, you need to teach your wife to cook. She needs to cook. That's a shame that the, each generation is losing the, the, the ability to cook. My generation, I'm a millennial, but my grandma passed out recipes. See, in my family, I'm black, Latina, and Italian. There's no way I wouldn't know how to cook. Come on. I know how to cook very well. I know how to spice things. Ladies, learn five key recipes. That's a week's worth of food. You guys can go out on the weekends. Maybe he buys you dinner on Saturday and he cooks on Sunday, you know, or you buy a TV dinner or something on Sunday or whatever. Maybe you eat out the whole week on uh, the weekend, but learn five standby recipes. Learn how to make five really good meals and then change them up. You really should do five days, but start with five recipes and learn to cook, you know, a good breakfast, like a breakfast brunch, a big one, a good one that's healthy and good for your family and for your body. Learn to cook a really good lunch, like maybe uh, maybe have a special killer sandwich that's like, a de you know, yummy with the layers and you use certain things and it's a specialty. Have a really good dinner, you know, pot roast, whatever something like that, like a really good family dinner type thing. That's like you could have guests and they would love it. Steak, get really good at that. Have another really good dinner that you could make quickly that maybe you wouldn't have the whole family around and have another really good specialty lunch, like a hamburger or pasta, which could, could be a dinner or lunch. So I have at least one good breakfast, one good fancy dinner. Um, another, great dinner, a good sandwich, which can be a great lunch. And then another lunch dinner type meal, right? And just change them up. Maybe the meal was pancakes and eggs and just cut out the pancakes and just make really good eggs and toast. Like it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Learn how to cook. Why don't people know how to cook? It hurts my ethnic soul that people don't know how to cook and spice your damn food. Salt is not spicy. Get, get sea salt and get pepper and then also get garlic powder and maybe get some basil. Uh, you know, you can get, you know, some other spices. Try it and try spicing it and taste it and give it flavor. Hot sauce. I make my own hot sauces from scratch. Yes, cayenne pepper. Been married for 14 years. Guess how many times she's cooked for me? Oh my God, Johnny, see you on the road. I don't know, but it sounds like some trauma. But is that, was that part of the deal? Did she want to give you, you know, food? Um, what, what's, what's the deal? So yeah. Okay. So then the, the fourth thing someone said is sports. And I, I agree that men need to work out and get physical. Sports is actually really great, but we can't give that to them. So we're giving you sex. We're giving you science. We're giving you sandwiches. Right. But if, but men also do need active sports, fitness. My boyfriend, he went, just went to the gym. A man's got to get in the gym. He doesn't have to have the gym bod all the time. You know, he can have a dad bod and be soft, but he, but at least he's got to go to the gym, punch a punching bag, get into a fitness class. I don't care if it's Zumba, jog, run. The man needs to do, be doing a sport. I don't think just watching it, doing the sports, doing the sports. So but that's an extra thing because someone said sports and I think that's cool. A woman kicking a meal in the kitchen is sexy. I think so. My height is I'm five and five, ten and a half, five, ten and a half. Uh, but with hair and shoes, I'm six foot two. Okay. So that's the ladies. Oh, Johnny, 14 years and she hasn't learned to cook yet. Yeah, that's a shame. Well, you married her, Johnny. How are you going to rectify that? That's what I'm saying. Like also men look for women who do this for you. And if you love your woman and she doesn't do this for you, ask her. That's your responsibility. Baby, would you mind cooking for me? It would make me feel so good. Okay. Now let's go to the women. Women. Men, listen up now. What do women need? Women need a lot more than three things. Okay. But women need Women need acknowledgments. We need to be acknowledged for the things we do. So if your wife hasn't cooked for you, but she has fixed you up a cocktail, acknowledge her profusely. Wow, baby, this cocktail is delicious. I love the way you put the ice and the coconut and the lime in this. Wow, honey, the house looks beautiful. 
wow, baby, I'm so glad you took overtime working this week and you were able to, you know, get your nails done or able to contribute to the finances or able to just go on vacation with your girlfriends, whatever it is, acknowledge verbally that I'm telling you that gets women moist, acknowledge us for the hard work we do acknowledge us for the things you've noticed. That includes compliments of our appearance, compliments on what we do. We need a lot of that. You can you can get a lot from a woman if you acknowledge what she's done. Wow, baby, it sounds like you had a hard day at work, but you pushed through. When she's cha cha da 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 acknowledge her. That's what she needs. That's actually what she's looking for. You know, how do you, I don't want to say shut a woman up because we should never want to shut each other up, but how do you like, 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 how do you end the conversation when it's going on and on and on? And, and maybe man, you're confused. Why is she talking so much? Because you haven't acknowledged her. You just been like zoning out, acknowledge her like a conversation. Women, when you hear women talk, it's a lot. Mm -hmm, oh yeah, that's right. Back and forth. Learn to communicate like that to keep your woman happy. You've got to learn these things. Like women got to learn things for men. And I already know some men are going to be bristling up, but this is how you can keep a woman happy acknowledge them. The cocktail is strong as F, just like you. Exactly. Men are taking notes. That's right. Yes. And man, yes, Matt says, man, even if that requires you to eat the dinner that is not edible, eat it anyways. Encourage. Exactly. Encourage and acknowledge. I'm glad you're taking notes. Acknowledgements is one thing. Encouragement is the next thing. Encourage. You want your woman to do something? Encourage her. Baby, I know you can do it. You got this. So one is acknowledging it. Wow, I can't believe you did that. The next is encouraging. But I knew you could. Women want to hear encouragement from our man. It's a lot. It's a lot to think about. But I'm telling you, women, we do this with ourselves. Oh, be, oh talk, listen to girls talk. Wow, look at you. You got that great dress and you look so good in it. That's how girls talk. That's why girls and gays get along well. Well, men, you can learn these secrets too and make your woman's day. And then she'll want to give you the sex, silence, and sandwiches, right? It's circular. We give to each other. Not It's not a game. We're not playing games with each other. We want to make each other happy. Encourage her. Acknowledge her. Encourage her. Acknowledge what she's done. Encourage her to keep going. Encouraging her also means eating the dinner she made, even if it's crap. Do you like this? And a woman will ask you, do you like, is it good? That's not the time to be your masculine self and go, well, I could have used more salt. A man can say that to a man, but a woman, she'll get so offended. I know I would. I would rather you tell me, baby, this is so delicious. Or you don't have to lie. Don't lie to her, but just say, baby, I'm so grateful. Did you get that, what I'm saying? That you made this food for me. And I'm, I'm enjoying eating this here with you. You didn't lie, but you're acknowledging and you're encouraging. And I think you should keep going because I know you're only going to get better and better. I like to put this salt on it. It makes it even better. You know, you see how that's not, not attacking her and, and you're building up her confidence. Women go around being very unconfident. We're not often encouraged to be confident. We're, we're often told we're not good enough. We don't look good enough by society, by other things. So remember, your encouragement will go a long way. Oh, at work, but keep fighting and eat that meal. Thank you. And you, I didn't acknowledge you gave me a $2 tip last week. I really appreciate it. $5 support goes a long way. That's going to be a cup of coffee. I appreciate you and at work. Thank you, Michael Kidd. Thanks for the hearts. All oh, Creole Queens is BRB, BRB hubs calling. Love a woman and loves her husband and takes care of him there. Women, we need verbal acknowledgement. Exactly. Active listening. Ask for clarity, clarification on a statement or something. Just let them know you're tracking. That's with anybody. Yeah, that's good communication. I love eating what my ex-girlfriend cooked for me because I know it was a gesture from her heart and she spent time exactly and say that. So acknowledge and encourage. She needs compliments. That's, that's encouragement too. Well, actually I could say acknowledging things, encouraging things and compliments. Those That's actually a separate thing women need to. This is all with the head. Acknowledge, encourage and compliment. I see that you've been working really hard at work. I want to encourage you because you're such a hard worker. I, I know you can keep doing, I know you can tackle what's happening at work, right? She's been just unloading on you at work. Women do this a lot with their men. We unload. I see you've been working really hard. 
I want to encourage you because I know how good you can be. And, and I know you're only going to get better. And I just love my woman is tough and beautiful. You see how you acknowledged, you encouraged her, and you complimented. That's a three-prong approach to a happy marriage. If When my husband, my future husband, will do that for me, I will be so happy. And it will, ah. Oh, and I know women to ask me if I'm wrong. Thank you. Someone gave me a big thumbs up. Ask me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, ladies. Dadslav does so much for this. I know he's so supportive. Thank you, Dadslav, Ackman, Gary. Thanks, Michael Kitt, for the hearts. So acknowledge, encourage, and compliment. Women also need affection. Women need sweetness and affection. Both of us need affection. But women more than sex need affection. That's a hug. That's a hand holding. That's a that's a that's like we touch men. You, you want to be touched like that? Touch a woman like that before sex. And don't just do it before sex. I'm talking about wake up and kiss her, wake up and, and rub her head, wake, wake up and pet her, wake up and you know, rub her shoulders, give her a massage. That's affection. Hold her hand rubber back. Oh, when you start the day like that, I'm, I'm telling you the night's going to end really good for you. Women often complain that they don't get enough affection from their husbands. Affection is romance. That's really romance. When you're affectionate, be romantic with it. I could say women also need romance, but not every woman likes romance. I'm a type of romantical woman. Not every woman likes flowers and dinner dates, but we do like attention. We do all women love affection, acknowledgement, encouragement, and affection. It's a little more complex for women because we're more complex beings. So we have five things we need from a guy. But it, I'm telling you, if you can get these things and work on them and, and drill them and practice them and really get good at them and ask your sisters and your mothers and your friends that are girls, it, would a woman like this, does this, the, it's going to be consecutive, consistent across the board. And if you can get consecutive with, you can get consistent with it, you're going to have a happy relationship. Yes, randomly come up behind her and wrap your arms around her waist and kiss her. Women love that. Women love that. And the and the last thing is hold frame for her. Hold frame. Hold your masculine frame for her. When she's losing her shit, don't lose your shit with her. This is really hard for a man. But I'm telling you, it will save your relationship. Women lose their shit a lot. You know, let's say you encouraged her, you acknowledged her, you complimented her, and you gave her a hug, and she's still losing her shit. Just be strong, still, and silent and listen to her. You do all those things. There's no way she's still going to be pissed. There's no way a kind, caring woman. And like I said, if you're with an abusive woman who takes advantage of you and does all that, but then also wants you to buy her thing, then you pick the wrong woman. I don't know what to tell you. Your picker's broken. If you already married her, then time to get some counseling. We're talking about healthy relationships. Men and women need to get healthy with each other. And this starts by acknowledging what the other person needs as well and providing those needs. So holding your masculine frame means not reacting even when she's being reactive. It's really tough for men, but I'm telling you, this is why that women love the strong, silent type. You know, she's on her period. She just got, you know, a girlfriend just broke, you know, got cheated on. Um, her, 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 I don't know. She got fired. She's crying. She's freaking out. Give her a hug and just be there for her. God, we love a man who's just there. Don't make her feel bad. Don't be like, well, you shouldn't have, you know, she locked herself out of the car. Well, you should have, you should have put the keys on the key ring that I told you to. Don't lecture her. That can come later when you guys have had sex and loved each other. And then you can talk about, baby, let's talk about the key ring I got you. Can we start using that? You know, you can absolutely instruct a good woman and help her. And I, I love when my man instructs me and helps me. And I do the same with him. But really, truly, I love a man to instruct me but it's got to be in the right time. Timing is everything. No guilt trips. Don't ever guilt trip your woman and men don't guilt trip. Don't, women don't guilt trip your men either. Never raise your voice with her. Always speak to her calmly. Exactly. Think of her like a little girl sometimes. And we got to respect that. And men freak out. You know, she says something crazy to you because she said, I just woke up. I had a dream that you were cheating on me. Why well, would I ever cheat on you? Why the hell you would think I would? And, and you know what? I don't care. You talking to Susie again? I don't like your friend Susie. I don't like your friends. Guys get so up in their feelings. Chill the F out. She's just going to let her have her little freak out. She doesn't, you know, calm her down. 
hug her, baby. I would never cheat on you. And I just want to tell you, thank you for, you know, telling me about your dream and sharing with me. You know, you're very beautiful and I love you. And then you can feed her too. That's the extra thing. Then you guys both can get breakfast, right? Because women need food too. But I'll tell you, they, they, women need food as well. But if you take care of their emotional needs, that's the key. Women, we're more emotional. We're more variant. We're more complicated in many ways. But, you know, if you do this for your, your girlfriends, you can do this for your wives, your daughters, your female friends, the lady at the office who's, you know, you, you don't know how to handle her. These are the keys to the kingdom for women. So make sure you encourage, you acknowledge, you compliment, you are affectionate and you hold your masculine frame. You hold your stillness when she's shaking because women are waves and men are rubber bands. And, and just as like men need their silence, they need their away time. Men also need to like get away sometimes, go into the man cave. Women give them silence because that means when he can refresh by being away from you and we're stealing his masculine energy. That means when you're all over the place, he can hold you and be still and provide that masculine frame, holding his frame. Don't let a woman ever push you off your frame, make you feel crazy, uh, or, you know, start getting into the mind trips. Sometimes women get into crazy stuff like the whole, I dreamed you cheated on me. Like that's so crazy. Right. But women get a little crazy like that. And men, you can too, in your own way, you know, you guys get angry off the, you know, it's like, Men, women and men are very different, but we're also very similar. We're humans. Compassion. So those are the keys to the kingdom. I hope they've helped you to a happy relationship. Thank you for sharing me to Facebook. Facts, right? For women and men. So those five things will solve, like be the solution in your relationship with, with a man and a woman, a man to a woman. I hope you took notes. Rewind this if you haven't. And for a, a man, those three things will save your relationship. Because when you're giving him those basics, honey, child, the man will give you all that and more. And there's other little things within a relationship that someone wants. Some men really love back rubs on a Sunday morning. Well, that falls under the, the sex, right? And some women, well, they really want flowers. Well, that's kind of affection, isn't it? Or compliment, you know, or acknowledgement even. Well, baby, here's a flower to show that you've done so well. So they're all there's going to be little minute details. But if you've been doing everything right and you wonder why your relationship's not going well, you probably miss these things. Five for the women and only three for the men. Women are more complicated, but we can have babies. We birth life through our bodies. We have more complicated systems, more complicated thinking. We can handle more complicated scenarios. We're great multitaskers. But with all that comes a lot of emotions or waves. And I love being an emotional feminine woman. And I love when a man is, is a logical, strong man. But guess what? Men can be emotional too and women can be logical too. So we got to hold our frame, hold your feminine frame for your man, your masculine frame uh, for your woman and everything will be okay. Love you guys. Yep, those five, right? Ladies, men, did you like the tips? Yep, Dan's got them. He wrote it down. Yeah, and holding frame means, and that's why men, it's so important that you also have your masculine things you do to, to feel strong and manly. Because sometimes men, women will challenge a man's masculinity in that way because they'll be so emotional and so worked up and you have to just maintain because it'll, it'll, it'll blow ladies. It'll, it, we, we, ladies are like that. It'll blow. It'll, it'll disappear by blow. I mean, it'll disappear. It'll go right. It'll blow like, poof. just let her, let her freak out a little. Never should a woman put a hands on a man or attack. Or you see, well, I'm not talking about when she's attacking you and you feel like, you know, abused. Again, we're not, we're talking in a healthy relationship. We're not talking about narcissistic behavior. Instagram, sorry, it, it, it jolted. But we're talking about healthy relationship. For the most part, healthy. You fight a little bit. You argue a little bit. It's healthy. It's not abusive. But don't choose abusive people. And if you are keeping to choose abusive people, then you need to fix what's broken in you because your picker's broken. So go back, fix your person, fix you, fix your spiritual connection, your emotional connections, your family connections, and then go out there and date. If it's too late, you're already with the person. Well, couples counseling. Then you guys need to really get healthy together. You should be making each other better. I'm so glad. Share it with your friends. It's going to be in my book. The joyful, well, it's going to be all, the joyful life. Yeah. Yeah. Don't call him out his name. Uh, and sometimes women really need to scale back the mouth. I've had to apologize for my mouth before. And women, you can't say too many things until the man's just going to leave. You cannot try to outman a man. 
So that's the silence. That's the holding back. That's the giving them sex so you can be calmed down enough to hear you. A lot of men, they, they get so caught up and they need that sex to release. That's also why I think sports is a good little fourth one because you should also get that released through a workout. Men, make sure you do that. You take care of your bodies. Um, and the rest is simple. Yeah, dates. Some women like 50-50. Some women like to be treated. Some women like, some men like to go in the mountains on a vacation. Some men like to be in the middle of a city. You know, some people like to make love to the, to the morning. Some people prefer in the evening. Like you're going to get to know your spouse, your chosen one. And that's the beautiful thing. But you get those standards, those five things, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. And if you get the three things, you'll be fine. So I love you guys. And I'm glad you guys like this. Bye, beautiful. And I'll talk to you later. Go to joyvilla.com. Check out my book, The Five Pillars of Joy, because this is under chapter, the chapter on family. Because you got to have good relationship before you can have good family, right? Right. God bless you, Joy Tribe. You're amazing. You're beautiful. God created you to do great things. And uh, I'll talk to you next Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here. Right here. Bye. Oh, what a good live. Love you guys. Bye.